the hood up on the side. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. Today we got we got we got some new news, that We got some news, man. We got some news, and um, we gonna get straight to it, man. We got some news. Um, so what we got here today? You remember, um, Quando Rondo friend? Um, not his friend. Like I think it was um one of his closest homies or cousins, something like that. Lil Pop, that he got the song "Long Live Pop," and he talked about how that was the dramatic um change in his life. They um the one that passed away in the car at the gas station. They were both in the in the Escalade, and the car got shot up. The truck got shot up. You talking about the when they were in Atlanta? No, they was in L.A. I, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So um. So we got that. So that's um Lil Pop. So we got some breaking news today on that. And um make sure let me show you real quick. Quando Rondo um Lil Pop. So this is Long Live Pop right here. This the song. Remember this? We did the reaction to this song. And um he was talking about um Pop passing away. He said right. that was a traumatic <clears throat> part of his life or whatever. Okay, um, that's why I said he's actually rapping about something. Yeah. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right. And he actually was rapping about something, something that you can actually connect with because, you know, when you experience a loss, it's something as tragic as that you can connect to it. Yeah, okay. okay. So, with that happening, um, so remember around that time, that's, that, that, that happened probably back a couple years ago, I want to say now. Um, today, there were five members of OTF arrested for, the, for um, a conspiracy murder to hire of Quando Rondo. That, and they actually murdered his friend Lil Pop. So, OT, OTF only the family, Lil Dirk and Fish. Right, Lil Dirk and Fish. If they finally slid, <laughs> not well. Apparently they did. So this remember this is a couple years. This is years ago now. Right. Remember Vaughn passed away in twenty twenty. Right. So this is get. This was this is um get basically get back for for Vaughn. They, they they calling it retaliation, and remember at the time a lot of people was coming out saying this that had nothing to do with OTF or blah right. blah blah, and apparently it did. Five members, I think three of the five have been arrested. Um, I think two of the two of the co-spirators have not been named so okay. far. Um, and apparently someone's also telling. That's 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 the word that's starting to get out. This is all developing in the last few hours. Okay. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I've been watching uh, DJ Academics. He been live. But uh, we gonna watch this quick video right here. Somebody that did a little quick little video. It's two of them. But uh, OTF DD is one of the more known names of the ones that was arrested. Like DD, I know been mentioned in songs about Dirk and stuff. I think that's actually Dirk cousin. Yo, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it ain't. Fun on fundamentals. Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't this nigga just beat a body of a nigga on shields? Shit. It makes sense why Dirk be investing in certain these niggas. Some of these niggas like. Hold on, Didi. I think just came home from a body. Actually, that's what, like I think he just said that. Yo, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it ain't. Fun on fundamentals. Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't this nigga just beat a body of a nigga on shields? Shit, it makes sense why Dirk be investing in certain these niggas. Some of these niggas like Bunny Mo, Duty Low, and all these other motherfuckers like Disky. Now, you know, I feel like Dirk forcing them to get rap careers to get them out the street. But you could tell this ain't really what the fuck they wanted to do. You could tell some of these niggas be, be real life shooters. But now let's go back Just in time. Let's go back to August 2022 when Quando Rondo let out that infamous. Mm -hmm. No. 2020. So 2020 Von died. This happened in 2022. Okay. So it took two years. This is what happened in 2022. And this one with Quando, I don't know if we ever reacted to the song where Dirk was mocking Quando. Quando, remember he was, we did. He's he like, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. He That's was what screaming, Dirk no. Dirk said in the video. Yeah. I mean, in the song. Yeah. Oh. I think Dirk put it in the song, and that's why you got to be careful what you do, man, because Dirk was trolling the fuck out of Quando Rondo. Probably expected none of this shit never to get back to him, but now, look at it. That's why this nigga went Muslim. That's why he pushing peace. It all makes sense. 6 9 kind of tried to do the same. Have you seen, did you see Dirk had a big concert this past weekend and stuff? Yeah, I heard about it, but I didn't, um, only thing I heard, I knew he had a concert, but I know there was a couple of shooting, so at least a shooting. In the area, but I don't think it had anything to do with the yeah, concert. Yeah, it had nothing to do with the concert, but it was, um, he had a big birthday bash concert at the right. United Center. Right. And, um, he was pushing peace. He had a guy, um, FYBJ Main, who's known, he's from 63rd and stuff, but he's been pushing peace lately, like, 
last year or so, he been pushing peace and just kind of getting away from the gang stuff. Right. Dirk actually brought him out on stage because he kind of he pretty he like he, he almost like a comedian. He funny and um he had him actually I think he was like hosting it or whatever. He had Jay Main there. Um he had a a picture that came up on the screen of like all the fallen you know Chicago legends not legends but just like the, all the rappers right. and just all that stuff like right. from both sides though. You know, like when FBG Duck did it, but, you know, didn't nobody really pay attention when he did it at the time. He did it, had guys from 63rd, guys from, you know, the GD, like all this stuff, bunch of everybody up there. Right. Man, um, Duck was up there, like everybody was up there. So a lot of people been giving him praise the last few days for doing that. You know, he, he you know, Dirk been on this Muslim stuff, he been posting a bunch of pictures, um, you know, about the Muslim and like him in the mosque and just a bunch of stuff, like basically pushing a whole lot of peace. Trying to change the narrative. Yeah, basically a lot of people saying, you know, changing his image around right. here lately. <clears throat> and then you got the um he just got keys to uh to two he just got some keys to Chicago or something like that. Okay. In the city like that happened this past weekend or something. Muslim. That's why he pushing peace. It all makes sense. Six nine kinda of tried to do the same little thing when before the feds came to get him, like d- denounce um uh uh nine trades and all that other shit. But honestly, this everything goes back to like it was a few people that was um it was a few people who got tied up into this shit, bro. And everybody from Chicago. I thought Brick Baby Dumbass was gonna get tied up in it, but not. So I guess um the a person who was an OTF affiliate, he um let out lucrative promises about um music label deals and a lot of cash money for the life of Quando Rondo. They shot up the car, but you know, and I got I hate to say it like this, but God Certain people just anointed in God's oil, man. And Quando Rondo, fuck around, be one of them. Because they shot up the car, and his homie, unfortunately, lost his life and not him. And really, man, like, all this shit just kind of throws me back to just, like, just everything that was going on at that time. To not even tie Dirk but to this shit. But just, like, when Brick Baby say, they can't say Dirk can't get back for OTF no more. I mean, he ain't get back for King Von no more. So, like, all you trolls who was in the comment section talking about Dirk ain't slide for Von, but what you got to say now? And I ain't the type of nigga that's promoting violence. I swear to God, I'm not. But shit, like, damn, it all makes sense now, man. Like when Mama Duck was in the in the, in them in them, to where she was talking to the feds in them courtrooms and just different shit. She knew an indictment was coming for Dirk, and it seems like it, it wasn't really for Duck. It's all stemming back to this Quando Rondo shit, man. So man, bro, like that just really I think I want to say it's shocking. Yeah, DJ it's Academics just said. Uh, so you know, academics he been live for the last few hours. You know, this is what academics do. You know, he gon' he I ain't gonna lie. He been on that. He academics the real, real feds. He gonna okay. get down to it. But um, and he got a lot of connection. He basically said that a year ago, around the time when he did the dirt, he did a, he did a dirt interview and stuff. Um, but he said uh, about a year ago, whatever, a, a journalist from Atlanta came to him and told him that the feds had been looking into Lil Dirt. And he ain't never, he, this is the first time he ever came out and said this. So he ain't just come out and say it back then, because, you know, it obviously wasn't public news or whatever. But he basically said, a journalist came and told him, he said, hey, they, they looking into Lil Dirt. He like, he didn't say what for or whatever. He said he thought it was going to be for the, the duck stuff or whatever. But apparently it might have been for this. So, man, bro, like that just really, I think, I want to say it's shocking, but it fucked my head up because Didi a real quiet dude. It make you think about the girl who went missing after she forced him to eat that, that bloody coochie. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta be careful who you fuck over out in these streets, man. Get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone. Oh, I think that was the second video Yo, right here. Yo, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it ain't. For them, for so this a picture. Is the one I like. It's a picture. The O-Block 6 gang. It's a picture from the scene. So I don't think you can see it in here. I think the one that circle right there, mm-hmm. I think they was trailing like two cars behind Quando Escalade the whole time. And um, we got to wait for more news to come out. But like I told y'all, I've been watching DJ Academics the last, like, hour or so. So he been getting a lot of, a lot of tea. And he basically saying that, um, you know, whatever he was reading, the like, information he got, that they, they they didn't just try to kill him once, like, on this, like, particular uh, moment right here. Like, they said they went to his hotel first. Like, so apparently you got a couple of co-spirators that ain't been really revealed yet. And you got somebody that had to likely be in, in L.A. That's how they got the drop. Because remember, these dudes flew all the way from Chicago. Right. They used OTF credit card for flights, rentals, uh, hotel rentals, uh, to get the uh, the car. Um, Like, it's a lot of stuff. Crazy. 
But apparently somebody had it. Somebody had to give them the drop. You got somebody that's making that's making the calls that they saying that it's it's telling them when to go to kill them or whatever. They saying you no, know, that could possibly be Dirk. But you no, know, we don't know. We don't know. But um. And then you got a guy that apparently is telling, cause it's allegedly. Yeah, allegedly you got allegedly a guy that's telling. So now on top of um, OTF members and shit being linked to renting the rental cars that was used in the little pab hit, it's also being alleged that OTF Jam got in that jam and he squealed, gang. And I can't tell you who told me this shit, bro. But just know. Rico may be wrong about some shit, but it's not intentional. And also, just know, when recent story drop, Rico behind the scenes trying to do some research. And so my research... I just want to also point out some, Y'all boys, hey man. I don't think... I don't really want to react to it on here because I don't want to get the video blocked or, or get a copyright strike because it's not... It's an unreleased song. But uh, Lil Dirk Beverly Hills, Uber Tags, listen to that. Tank Tank David, uh, Tank the uh, the fighter, was playing it in his in his boxing in, uh, before a fight. Uh-huh. And um, he was playing it before a fight, and, but it's an unreleased song. But like a lot of people started going and looking it up, and it got leaked or whatever after he was playing it um in the locker room before his fight. They had a video out, and um, this probably like he probably got leaked like probably like a, almost a year ago or something like that. But now if you go listen to it, it make a lot of sense. And then you gotta look at this car right here. You getting this from a rental enterprise or whatever you getting this rental from. Do they do they tint out windows like this? I mean, it's in Florida. Most of them cars you bring. It's in LA. Well, LA. I mean, some of them cars. In the front, bring. like that? I didn't <laughs> think, I ain't seen no t no rental tinted out like that. Uh, I mean, they had to I go mean get when you tinted. say rental nowadays, I mean, it could be uh, uh, the, the, the other apps that they use. It don't have to be your regular main rentals at the airport okay, nowadays okay, yeah i'm just asking because you know he, he say <clears throat> like i said you gotta go listen to the song he say in a song sliding on sliding in beverly hills i told them boys get they blicks and go get a little more tent that's what he say <laughs> let me tell the individual who told me remember oh i see why it's unreleased <laughs> you know right remember that and he just got released like after doing like 10 years damn now remember that right so after he get booked it's like a year later, or something like that, everything That's started to crumble for the OTF yeah. umbrella. Now, like I said, with everything being said and done, these motherfuckers was also tracked. They was also tracked, pretty much trailing Quando Rondo and Lil Pap all the way into the gas station. Well, unfortunately, Lil Pap, Lil Pap lost his life. R.I.P. to that young man. Just another casualty in this Chicago street war. I think a lot of people forget, like, when niggas beefing in Chicago, that street shit stretched beyond the southwest side. Motherfuckers will catch you in the burbs. You remember this shit with hella bands? His op called him in Miami. Like, when it comes to this Chicago beef, it don't matter if you're a retired um, father who's working. Remember Hey Dog or something like that? I forgot what set he was from. Motherfuckers hopped his gate and killed him. He been quick game banging. Damn. <laughs> It's yeah, just endless crazy. cycle of violence when it comes to Chicago. And also, like when I made that mention to O Block, I think these individuals, just like I can't say who was promised what, but we've seen how the FBG Duck trial played out. People was promised lucrative amounts of money and also so much shit that I honestly believe they was given. Like when you think about it, when it's all said and done, I'm not going to piece together the, the puzzles to this fucking crime, but these. Nah, I ain't going to lie. We ain't going to watch the whole video, but I ain't going to lie. It's kind of crazy. This is like the third incident recently. That it's crazy what these dudes, you know, the you kind of could call them that to be on these labels or whatever, you know, or just be around these big rappers. They kind of almost like crash out dummies, cause like it's crazy what they'll do for you. You throw them uh, some money. I just cause... think that's that it's, it's crazy. I mean, you know, even for you me to sit here and watch this stuff, man, it's like. I don't know, man. Why would I use an OTF credit card? OTF credit card, and then I mean, and then why why, why would you? Then apparently they say Probably they ain't supposed to. If you go any, I ain't I ain't condoning any of this stuff, but it's like my God. I mean, I, I mean, what happened to getting an old trap card? Give me a nineteen eighty nine, uh, uh, seventy nine Regal. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no tracking devices. Man, they said they got it, like and, and drive that Joker from Chicago. To, to Florida and ride around in, 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 in the car that I could leave and get on the plane. No, no, no. This, 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 this is what I was going to say right here. That's, that's, they saying they, after the, they, 
they saying they was on record. They was there for literally a day. Flew there and got had the nerve to fly back to Chicago. And my, why would you fly back? That's so easy to track you the cops. Up. Flew there, flew back. All this happened in this time span. Hey, that don't make no sense. I mean, right. I mean, whoever it is, I mean, it's all alleged right now. But it's just going to show that it might take two years. It might take... You know, the investigators don't stop investigating. They got to comply all their evidence and everything together. Exactly. This happened you in know. 2022, so right. it's 2020. So it's almost 20, it's literally almost 2025. It's, some of the stuff is starting to leak out now and starting to come to fruition that, um, you know, you do the crime, you got to do the time. It's just that simple. Hey, man, right before we hopped on here, too, there was some rumors going around that Lil Dirk was arrested, but I ain't heard academics say it. Academics don't say Lil it. Dirk that, was that arrested. Happened. That's the that's it was like some people saying that on Twitter and stuff, but I don't think that's true. I you know if once once um if that was to happen, you no know, academics yeah. would be like the first to know and stuff. So I don't think that's true. There's people just saying that. Yeah, but, that would hit national news too. I yeah, mean, that would be. Uh, he's yeah. a big enough name that you know, especially here in Chicago. Um, as soon as that happened, they 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 it'd be on the you know, uh, on the, the news, the late night news. Yeah, man. Hey, y'all let me know what y'all think. Is Dirk Cook, man? <laughs> I mean, this guy is crazy timing, too, for him. Like, for what he be doing, what he been doing lately, pushing this positive, all this peace, changing his image, and, like, for this just a hit today. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Changing the narrative, man. Basically, you know, uh, uh, um, at the end of the day, when you get ready to go to court, though, these are all the things that you got to be able to bring to court and say, yeah, this is what was going on in the past, but this is who he is today. You know, so whatever happens, we're looking for leniency. Yeah. He, ain't, he, may, he might be the mastermind behind of it, but you got to prove that. You got to prove it. Yeah. You got to prove it. And, you know, and it's all going to be, you know, circumstantial evidence. Well, we've seen what happened with know, the unless O-block you, Unless you could actually, you know, I didn't watch enough TV where unless you could connect the doc to that person. You've seen them before. You know, we don't want you. We're trying to connect the doc to that person. That's what a lot of people think they, you know, with... He's saying allegedly OTF Jam and Jam somebody he didn't mention in the song saying Jam got in that jam he and squeal. That might not age well. He didn't squeal. Dirk said that in the song. He said Jam got in that jam and he and squeal. Um, that, that might not age too well, but uh, but like it's like if it is somebody like Jam or whoever whoever talking, they could be hey we don't want you we don't care about you. Like you can connect some dots and give us don't whoever you might get a little you might get this much time you might still get some time but it might be only this you are gonna see the day of light again you I mean, don't going they say they facing the death penalty if convicted right go I mean especially you're in a different state you know so Florida laws and machine guns also. Florida laws are different but you Man, know bottom line is how did California. you fly how did you fly into town and get these weapons that's that's the they that's. That, that's what I'm saying. Like we ain't, I ain't all the, the videos. I get all the information. Like I said, if y'all watch DJ Academics his live. He really saying a whole lot of stuff that just ain't out in like video form for us to react to yet. But apparently somebody that has somebody there. Apparently, uh, one of the guys that um was arrested. One of the three is one of the guys that I guess uh the conspirator two. So I think he was the one that gave the guys the guns. But conspirator one's the one that told them to do the hit. Is what Academics was saying. And um, and then apparently you got somebody telling, cause like it's what academics saying it's some real details of like how you know exactly this guy gave this guy this, and they had machine guns, right? Is what they were saying as well. Machine guns in California, that, I mean, just travel. That's crazy. First of all, that's insane. Well, they got some weapons. That's for sure. Someone <laughs> gave it to them. Yeah, man, like, it's crazy. We know we're going to get more information. This, I think this, this is just obviously the beginning. I mean, we're going to get way more information in the um, coming soon about this whole thing. So this, it's only been a couple hours. Well, yeah, this is breaking news for us. Yeah, so we're going to get more information. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think of the whole situation. Go listen to Beverly Hills. Um, it kind of paint it kind of paint the picture, in my opinion. I ain't going to lie. But, um, yeah, man, y'all stay blessed. Gang, we out.